Welcome back to the Ocean State Nine Ball Championships and what a championship match we have for you. You're looking at two of the final players. Mike DeShane was undefeated as he came into this match. And this is a true double elimination. And Jason Shore has beaten Mike DeShane one set already. So this is the final set. Whoever wins this wins the championship. Gets the banner placed up on the wall, the trophy, the cash. The whole nine yards. We are playing nine ball, and it's a race to nine. Just, just starting. No, no. He ran. He broke. Yeah. This is just the start of the second set, Larry. You're not listening. Oh. Last rack of the last set. Yeah. <laughs> Mike racked the ball. Oh, you're saying that it should go broke. that way? No, yeah. how come? Because it's win or break. Whether they flip the coin or not, or whether there's a rule that says the losing opponent for the first set breaks in the second set, I have no clue. Anyway, in any case, we're underway. Mike DeShane firing balls the wing ball the four ball fall into the corner he has a shot on the one yeah mike looks like he's out for business here well you better get out for business uh he doesn't want to let jason show get up to the table it's definitely a gimme Mike is definitely a great player. He, uh, and of course, this is, he owns this table. This is what he plays on all the time here at Snookers. Oh, by the way, Larry, I have uh, somebody in the chat wanted to say hello to Larry. I believe it was Steve Lomax. Oh, hi, hi to Larry. hey, Steve. How you doing? I just want to <laughs> say to you that, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> no jump cues being used, but you know, Earl and I, we really appreciate uh, certainly make the best jump cue in the business. But we all know that. Anyway, look forward to seeing you at the next stop. Probably, I don't know if you'll be, oh, you'll be at Derby City. I'm sure if Joe Blackburn's there, you'll be down there with him. And uh, again, thanks. We really appreciate what you've done. You're a good man, Steve. Okay, Mike DeShane opens up the second set with the first win, leads one to nothing over Jason Shore. Hey, Mary Kenninson is in the chat. Nightmare One. Hi, Al. Hi, Larry. And Mary Kay here. Can you Mary hear me? Mary. Yeah, she's in the chat. Hey, Mary. Mary Kenneth. Glad to have you out there. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, thank you for uh, liking the post and sharing everything on uh, social media. Mm. Everything helps, and believe me, darling, uh, you're one of the best. You are. You're definitely one of the best, kiddo. All right. Look forward to seeing you also at the next stop if you'll be there you know it seems to me though, like every time mike racks those wing balls start to find their way into the corner pockets and it didn't work out last time as jason got up to a commanding lead but it appears from here in the second set yeah. it's all mike the shane so far there's nothing jason that can do but sit there and watch Thank you. 
That was a good shot right down the rail. Well, and really no secret that Mike definitely knows how to rack the balls. <laughs> he does make that point. <laughs> That's no secret. I mean, he's one of the best at it. Oh, well, he just has to make sure they're all frozen. It's all legal, so there's, you know, everything is okay. I like Mike. I know him since he's young. <laughs> And he is a very straight shooter, that he is. Yes, yes, can't take that away from him. Is that right? Am I uh, falling asleep? It's been a long day. Somebody in the chat says I'm falling asleep, but Jason Shore just racked the balls. And they happen to be right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> Jason sure racked the balls. And thank it, you for correcting me. But it's true, Mike. It's getting late on my end. I'm, right. I think I got to sleep about 3.30 in the morning. I was up at 6.30. I think maybe Jason learned from Mike. <laughs> He's putting the balls up the same way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's all in good fun. They are two great players. And here we are talking about Mike and being a mechanic, but uh, there's nothing really to it. He just tightens the balls up and yeah, makes sure nothing right. is loose. There's, no, there's no great secret. Right. <laughs> Snookers, Providence, Rhode Island. That's where this live stream is coming to you from. That's where these two young guns are standing right now. Yeah, when we're, we're done here, we have a four-hour ride back to New York. How about four and a half for me? Right. Upstate. I got to go across the mountains. I'll be there. I, I actually have the option to stay one more night, but you know what? I really want to get back. It's been a great time. Don't get me wrong. I love yeah. Rhode Island. Looks like Mike's on a real roll here. Two to nothing in favor of Mike DeShane. Yeah. Mike jacked up over the nine ball. Now, the last time we saw him in the last set, he missed it, but that's what I'm used to. Mike firing the balls right up, even though he's jacked up over a ball. He's good at that, and not only that, he can draw that rock a table and a half after making that shot. He's got some stroke. He's right on. Okay, Larry, you're right there. Need some water or something? Call the waitress over. There you go. Water bottle right in front of you. Enjoy. As we witness Mike DeShane at the office. Looks like he's on the verge of going three zip over Jason in the second set. Comes in short. Doesn't want to get straight. He wants the angle to come down and shoot that nine right into the corner pocket. Perfect. I think he just changed his mind a little. Very nice. Very good speed onto that nine ball. Mike DeShane now leads three to nothing as he is the local favorite and you hit a crowd erupt. Everybody in Rhode Island that loves to watch Mike DeShane shoot is sitting around this arena right here witnessing this great event. 
This is the 25th annual Ocean State Nine Ball Tournament. Combined with the Joss Northeast Nine Ball Tour, it's a $5,000 added event. And if you win it, you get a banner. There's plenty of famous players up here on these banners. Not only that, you get the trophy and you get the cheese. And we're back to the rack stack investigation. Thank you, Anya, for updating the social media. We appreciate everybody sharing the stream. We are attempting to get Earl Strickland. In fact, Earl did say that he'll be back to do a little more commentating. And uh, we're looking forward to that also. Okay, here we go with the break. And it looks like Earl's making his way through the crowd. And we're going to have Earl Strickland stepping back in the booth. And in a couple of seconds here, we're going to wire him up. Remember, he is a seek and destroy missile. Quote unquote from Earl. He says that's the way he feels when he is getting up at the table to play anybody. We're going to pass the headset right back over to him. As soon as he gets ready, he's talking right now with Martin Daigle outside the booth, and he's going to step in shortly. Uh, I took my eye off the match. Mike's walking around with the cue ball, so I could imagine that Jason either didn't make the good hit or scratched. In any case, Mike, ball in hand. Six and seven is the combination shot. You're controlling that six ball. Is the key shot here. The eight comes going to the corner pocket. So the six seven is the crucial two balls to get to. Okay, I think Mike's gonna elect to go around the eight nine and try to get as straight as possible in on this combination. I'm gonna, well, uh, you're not on the air right now, Earl, but now you're live, Earl. Earl Strickland, world champion, sitting in the commentator's booth along. Well, he probably should out. just bank this ball and force down. You know, uh, I was just talking about that combination. He's got to control that shoots, six. Yeah, it was a good shot on the combination. He couldn't control the six. This is a tougher shot. He's going to go around, shoot it in the side, and go around the table. Yeah, and try to get position for the eight into the corner. Or you're going to play for the, yeah. But see, I didn't like that shot. I liked him banking the ball. You know that? I liked him banking that ball. It was an easy position. It was actually not that hard of a bank. We yeah. all overlook those shots, yeah. though. You know, even me, I'll get up there and go, oh, I can cut it in, but it's the harder shot. But Jason hits those shots really well. Yeah, he sure did. He shoots those balls really well. It landed a little close to the rail. This shot's equally as hard, though. He's got to slow roll it with some right. Now he's going to jack up and stun it two rails. A little, I like the way he shot it. That way it can't roll off on him. He'll just roll this in or go two rails. You people at home, you see how he shot that ball? He went two rails. Kind of hit the last ball kind of firm if you can and go two rails instead of rolling it in. And that way, uh, as long as there's, there's no scratch and it's a safe shot like he had there, always go two rails and that assures you to hit a good solid shot on it. There you go. You're hearing what's Mr. the Earl score now? Is uh, it's, the score right now is uh, three to one in favor of Mike Deshane. Oh, three one. Well, Jason's probably showing a little bit of uh, fatigue, even though he's 25. Pulls a rolling game. We've been here all day. Yep, and all day yesterday. So he's got to come back. <laughs> we got Jason Shore up at the commentator's booth. I think he's making an impression that he needs a little window, and he might have got it here three one. With, you know, being down three nothing, and 
and the Shane just missed the sixth ball. It could have been four nothing, right? Well, he he played the six seven, but he, he didn't control the six and the cue ball for his next shot, or he tried to and it just didn't work out, and that's what cost him that one. Those combinations when they're off angle like that, they uh, you don't always know where the you don't know where the object ball's going that you're shooting into the combination all the time. You don't know where it's going to go. And it came up in a funny position then. But he still should have banked that ball. I, like like I said, I could have got up and made the same mistake. But it's easy from here to say that he shot it the wrong way. <laughs> That's right. I didn't miss a ball yet from here, Earl. Trust me. <laughs> Here's the cut break. I saw him hammer him a couple of times. I, I almost think Jason should just go back to hitting the balls hard. I really believe he might get more success. He breaks really hard and breaks good. Like the Shane, he doesn't control the cue ball as well, but he breaks as hard. He's going to jack up and just try to stick it's the cue ball right the, there? Uh, or, or roll it into it or something. He, no, he's going for the shot. No? Okay. I really didn't understand that. He should have just jacked up and stopped it. Yeah, that's what I was Looked thinking like he was going to do. The, ball, the cue ball was a little close to the rail. He's left Jason the shot here. Now, he's... Jason makes hard outs. He's kind of like I used to be uh, with some hard outs. and I like the hard outs. It seems like I always bear down on them. He's going to roll this with some left. Try to hit the eight. He'll come out. Nope, he's going to come back over. He couldn't hit the eight from there. He hit that too hard, though. Did he? I, yeah, I, he, didn't, I didn't think he could hit it any better the way no, he made I, that shot. No, I thought he could have hit it easier and left the cue ball more in the middle of the table for the two. Now the Believe me, this shot right here is like off the chart. Uh, he could draw back into the seven, but that's tricky. You know, he hits combination shots like I can't believe. I mean, is that he, right? he, he, he's made combination shots where the optic balls are spread two feet apart and fight them and split in the jaws. Now, I think he's going to go two rails back out towards the center of the table yeah, here. He's got to get in the center of the table somehow. He can't, he can't do much with the ball. It's a tough shot. He can't do much with it. And the way he was eyeballing the three five, it looked like he and was eyeballing it for the combination. No, he's setting it up for a safe. He ain't gonna play this combination. There's no way. Okay, he's looking he's to hide crazy. the cue behind the six. He's gonna go two rails around by the six ball. If he lands on top of it, it's a good shot, but he didn't. No harm, no foul with that three is. Yeah, he actually sh might should have got that safety. Didn't quite hit it. The Shane can thin the ball either way, probably. He'll probably thin the right side of it and come around the floor, too. Oh, he missed the whole uh, ball. He missed the paint There's on the ball. There's another opening for uh, for Shaw, Jason Shaw. Yeah, and put another beat up on his side to make it 3-2 if he can. That's a big he game. Might, he could go one rail down the table or two rails. And one rail. You always got to cover yourself on that shot. Because <laughs> they can always go. He can just, just stop there and, and he'll roll back. up a little bit to get a little more angle on that five. Bounce off the rail and draw back? Yeah, he'll, he'll come back past the eight or near it or back to the middle. There you go. See, I covered myself right away. <laughs> well, near the eight. There you go. Now he'll just roll off the bottom rail, keep a little way going. That's perfect. He'll just put a lot of left on it and come back over for the eight. Or go on the other side. Now he's going to go. On, that's the right side. Come up a little short, wouldn't you say? These shots don't bother him. They don't bother. They're me makeable, either. but I would like to be a little straighter nah, on this. They, these don't bother. Really great shooters. Those little shots don't bother us. They, I know. But we miss them. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it Not wrong. many of them, but you guys do miss. He'll just them. stop this one. Shoot it firm and stop it. There you Always go. Three to two like now. That. Three to two in favor of Mike Deshane as. Jason Shore is turning on the turbo boosters. He wants to end this. He wants to take down this tournament. Well, actually, uh, DeShane's handed him the last couple of games, you know. Well, if Mike DeShane wins here, he's won it in 2012 last year. He'll be back-to-back -back wins here. Yeah, it's, look at his, uh, Ocean that's State. impressive. That's, so he's the defending champion. It's a tough tournament. Uh, any tournament seems tough right now. For me, anyway. <laughs> Oh, Earl, you're being modest. I got to get me a... 20, we all know you get I, there. I got to get a 25 millimeter break you. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Somebody out there, uh, you just heard it from Earl and you want to...
sponsor your company, Earl's looking for a 25 millimeter brake cube. Well, I'm going to have Mike make me one as soon as I get back. I'm thinking if I get the, the tip big enough, like a big as a golf ball or something, I can <laughs> never miss the cue ball. <laughs> so now wait a minute, you come out with that contraption in the tournament. <laughs> they're going to they're going to send in everybody that witnesses. The shaft's going to be 20 inches, same millimeter. Uh, 25 millimeter. 25 millimeter for 20 <laughs> inches, and then I'm going to break through a spool. <laughs> through what kind of spool? What do you mean a spool? A spool. I'm uh, just a spool that holds tape. Take all the tape off of it. Oh, the, the, the cardboard spool spool. in my fingers, and then put that 25 millimeter stick through there, and there won't be any resistance. <laughs> of course, I'll look. I'll look a little awkward. <laughs> but, hey, you, you might hear me laughing, and you might be laughing in the background. Don't be surprised but, if Earl comes out with that break cue. But I won't miss the cue ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jason's going to break. I got. He's going to hit him hard. I, well, that was a hard cut. That was a good break. A little harder cut. He's got a shot. I think he can make the two ball. It's a tough position, though. But these are the kind of shots. It's uh, that overhead camera here, boy. That's a that's a. He thrives he's on these shots. Up. Oh, he's got to he's got to go over the five a little bit. This guy right here thrives on the tough shots. He reminds what me of myself shot. so much. It was a nice shot there. That was a classic. Reminds me of me. Not just. <laughs> Now, he, he really thrives for the hard shots, and I like that. He's got a lot of game. Good shot there. He can draw back and stay there or run into the eight or go past the eight. Yeah, run right in. Oh, oh he bumped the eight. I see. That was careless again. He's looking at the eight ball and not the four ball. Yeah. That's why he missed it. Yeah. You know? Okay, uh, Jason Shaw with an unforced error. Those are those. Chain to get back. Those are those little mistakes I talk about in this game. Cost He's you. got such great shot making ability, but he makes a few little mistakes here and there, and he's got to he's got to clean that up, you know. Well, you look at here. Okay. That's a really simple mistake. It's a comedy of errors right now from uh, from uh, Deshane. He might be a little fatigued. Even though well, he's, he's only played what two matches today, this is he his went to cut third, that, his third match. Try to cut that four ball in and didn't get the paint going in. Yeah, so he got uh, it coming out. He hit that pretty poorly. I'm not going to give him any credit on that one. Oh no, it's an error. Of course, I could have done it too now, but well, you're right. It was this an error. shot here is like pulling teeth. I mean, these pockets are tight anyway. So, you know, here's a shot here. You either make it or you look like an idiot on this shot. Well, why not play a safety? Why not just put the four on the, on the he, short rail uh, down where the chalk is? you got to shoot at it. He either makes it or he looks like an idiot. He actually hit that pretty good, though. <laughs> but that shot right there is like one really difficult shot. He's perfect on He's the five. He's going to follow he three rails it. around the nine. Perfect. He'll just draw back to the side. I notice he's not drawing the balls as much now. He'll follow two rails, draw a little bit, two rails like that. And he'll just stop right there, and he's got the perfect angle for the eight to come down on the nine. He'll probably just draw out to the middle of the table now or just float down. He's got Either a chance one. to tie this game up. He can draw right out. And he really made Whoa. us. I think he's tired. It looked like a tired swing. This is not a hard shot for him, though. As tired as he is, he won't miss that. There you go. You're hearing that commentator from Earl calling it like it is. We're tied at three. We're racing to nine. Yeah, I really want to play somebody with no side pockets. I think that's my next uh, adventure in pull. I think. Mary Kinniston's in the chat saying hello to. Oh, Mary? Mary Earl. Yeah, she's in there. Hi, night, Mary. Night, how are you? Nightmare one is Mary, Mary Kay. How's things down there in Cocoa Beach? There you go. Boy, I missed that place, laying on the beach. That was nice. I'm jealous. <laughs> I, need, I need a helicopter to play golf up here. <laughs> uh, it's so relaxed down there going to play golf. It's, and, you know, you just don't have that in the city. But... Long in the city, it seems like. 
This I think a, the city really this is an easy shot for Jason. Jason. Jason makes the long shots really nice. He hit that funny though. I would have rolled that. He shouldn't have never drew that ball around. He should have just rolled it two rails. I don't know why he did that. Well, now he's faced with rolling a, the three are, now. That's the, another look at those little, you know, little overlooking them. Yeah. Little things he does, you know what I mean? And then he comes with a shot like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then he says, how do you like me now? <laughs> wow. Now, he's got an interesting shot. If the five don't go by the nine, he's got to show me a little something now. If the five doesn't go by the nine. This is the kind of shot that, that shows you how really how good you are. It doesn't look like the five goes by no, the nine won't. from the overhead cam. He might elect to play the combination, but this shot, pounding the four and coming over for the other corner like that. There shows that shows how great a shot maker he is. Most guys won't attempt that shot. They're scared of it. This guy's a good shooter, but he always he still makes those little mistakes though. And you know? we're human. But if know. he clears that up, he's going to be really dangerous, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, I so, can see him. How about being a world champion? That was uh, a little day. bit weak right there. What do you but think about that? That shot's well? hard to hit right all the time. No, nah, there's no doubt he could win it. Yeah. Yeah. He can win everything. He shoots really straight. He's not afraid of these little. These little off-angle cuts and stuff, too. Mary says, uh, what's up, Earl? Miss you, too, buddy. You know you always have the spare bedroom and the tight-ass gold crowns are waiting. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way things are, pretty soon I might be looking you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting cold up north. If I come down here with no money in my pocket, you're going to give me a <laughs> crown. <laughs> yeah, things are getting cold up here. I might be looking for a... a uh, a winner spot. <laughs> <laughs> Four to three now in favor of Jason Shore. The ties have changed. Let's see how Mike DeShane. Yeah, this is starting this to now. get now. DeShane's starting to feel a lot of pressure because he had a three nothing lead. He thought he had it in hand. The tournament was going to be his again, but uh, the ties have changed, and uh, uh -huh. you know it puts a lot more pressure on you when you were ahead, and the guy comes back. Like how about the audience? You being in front of your home crowd, your home table. Oh yeah, it's always hard to you know, be in front of your pressure. home audience. Yeah, it's always hard. No. I think he'll go with a hard cut again. Yeah, yeah, with a lot of spin. And that's a good break. If he gets a shot, ah. I think he can I, spin it off the rail because the two yeah, he down can spin here. Around it, spin there's no around reward the though, unless you can play the ticky. I think behind the, the two. two might go if he slow rolls it on the combination. He'll just go Wait rail, rail first, first, come around. The thing is, you don't want to get that's snuckered. Thin, so that's sometimes that's this ball goes. so hard to judge. This ball goes. What the six with yeah. the ticky or the or the six? I think or the it goes straight in combination. He's gonna bump the the two. You go rail first. And he'll he'll, he'll it's not. A, it's touchy. I'll tell you yep, right now. It'll go. It'll throw a little bit if he hits it right. I think it goes in. Uh, if he hits it the right speed, and the two will knock right over for the other corner. If he hits it right. Mary screaming in the chat. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> My golf clubs are a little rusty right now, uh, but uh, I need to get some new golf clubs. Right, let's he see just shoot, he won't hit mind. this too hard. He'll hit it a, just a, I'm so, oh man, I can't believe he shot it like that. It must wouldn't have went the other way. He tried to actually kick and cut the ball in. He could, it wouldn't have went that way. There's not, not possible. See, another little mistake he made right there. But, you know. But he did take his time. He looked at, he weighted he, options and his arms out. It seems he makes way too many little mistakes, though, you know, for a player of his caliber, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. it's you know, I'm not criticizing him, but no, just, I know that. Just but I'll tell you what, critique that. Oh, he can get real dangerous if yeah. you can correct the, some of those little mistakes. I'm gonna play safe. Right in front of us. Should be an easy. Just gonna safety. lock the cue ball behind the six. He That's tried to safe. lock. He tried to marry him, but he didn't get there. Well, I think is, he didn't get him. He, he might can kick one rail yeah. and get this ball. That's what it looks like. He's gonna kick one rail. You have like to jack him. up and put some spin on it. He needs to hit it hard too. Uh, went right around. That went Ball another in little error there, another little error, but that was forgivable because it was a hard shot. I can't imagine what they've said about some of my shots. <laughs> Cause I've uh, played some bad ones here and there myself. 
it's like he's going to follow for the corner or the side. Oh, the ball goes between. Okay, it yeah, goes he, between the seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he would. Yeah, the corner or the. Yeah. He, chose he can, to go he can spread the, the needle. Yeah, he's got the window. So all he's got to do is make this, back the ball up just a little bit. Stop shop. Watch pocket he can the ball. stop it, but I, he needs to back up a little like that. There you go. That's perfect. I always like making the ball and going off the rail. It gives you easy position. You'll just make this and draw off the rail with left. And that'll... I thought he would have came further off, though, to get another angle on the five, but now he's straight. He'll either follow out of this or draw it back. Well, See, he was down here in the corner. He created an angle on that five off the side rail. That he right, didn't. cut back out. He, well, it sh he showed some nerves there. He did, He underhit the shot, you know what I mean? I don't think he meant to do that. I do that, too. I do the same thing. I, I try to create an angle, and I underhit it. I decelerate a little. He'll just shoot right bottom and draw off the rail. But damn, he went three rails. You're going to wind up. These guys are starting. Perfect. They're, they used to draw the ball more, and now they're starting to go around the table. They've been learning this stuff from me. Yeah, well, you're teaching them, and you're now telling everybody See, to come out two rails for the nine That's what side. I do on that shot all the time. But I did, most of the time, these guys, when I watch them play, they draw out of everything. But I used to be the same way. I used to try to draw out, but then I started following everything. So these guys are smartening up. That ain't good for me. Uh-oh, Mike DeShane looking over at Jason Shar. I don't know what the problem was. Well, yeah, uh, uh, an earthquake couldn't shark him on this shot, could it? Yeah, no, absolutely I mean, not. Okay. Tied up, right? Yeah, we're tied at four. Well, these guys, they've had a little, uh, little taste of each other before. Uh, not long ago, they played on the tar match, and Jason uh, beat uh, Mike DeShane. And I think there's a little bit of heat over that right now. A little gamesmanship between the two of them. Yeah. But it's always fun. It's all good. Yeah. Good for pool. I wish it was about 10 seconds to shoot and you had to run around this. <laughs> yeah, I know you would. Nah, I'm just <laughs> I know I'm. I could. I could die under that format too. <laughs> I was telling everybody out here in the fan base that when Earl Strickland gets up, he looks at the table one time and he has three <laughs> options of patents he wants to go through. <laughs> he doesn't have to look. Well, I'm twice. playing good. You know, yeah. it's just you know. Uh, yeah, I don't need a lot of time. On, but some shots. I mean, some shots. I kind of, you know, pause for a moment or two, take a few deep breaths if it's a real tough shot. Yeah. And, uh, what you're supposed to do, right? But if they're all just sitting there, I'm kind of like walking the dog in the park or something. That's what it looks like. You're just at the office. <laughs> but uh, some of these guys look like they're having a baby when they're running an easy out. But uh, I think the Shane, I don't know what he'll do. I think he's going to cut break this time or hammer him. He's going to hammer him. No, it cut break. I couldn't tell the way he was wound, winding the cue up. Wing ball went right into the corner pocket. But he, uh, he's got snookered by the one ball he can't pocket the one and it's going to be a tough safety he might have to roll out it's hard to play safe from here i don't see him trying to play he can see the one part of it but i don't i wonder I if he can see enough of it to draw it back and no bring the one down I don't near fancy the three him. area I, I i don't fancy him trying to play safe on this shot it's like i guess he could do something banking it wise Bring the one past the six. Leave the cue ball right there. Oh, See, that, that, that was just pure selling out. That shot has no merit. See, I know the game. You know, some shots don't. The table tells you what to do. That's the thing I love about pull. There's no dictating the table. It usually tells you what to do. And in that case right there, the table was telling Mike to roll out. <laughs> roll the ball down here. Yeah. He tried to go against what the table told him to do, and what happened? Well, you just mentioned it prior to that shot. You step back, you take a deep breath or two, and you, and you, you, gotta, and you compromise, you gotta, and, and you deal, and you weigh it out. you got to know your limitations when you're playing, you know? That's all there is to it, you know? You can't force something that ain't there, you know? He'll shoot this in the corner, I think. 
No, he missed it. He's just, he's a little tired. I could see it. <laughs> yeah. He could be a little hungry or tired. And well, we're still at 44. He's he's hanging in there, Sharp. He's standing right that there with Mike a, Deshane. a simple mistake. He should have made that ball. That's for sure. Deshane underhit that. <laughs> underhit ball. He's in, he's in. He's going to spin out two right rails, here. come on to the short side of the yeah, six, he's, maybe. He's got to stun this with spin. He shoots a lot of balls open-handed. That's See. what he tried. Coming to the short side of the six. I J think Jason flew out of the seat like a moth going to a flame. There's the one thing these guys don't do correctly, to me, is they use the wrong bridges a lot. I thought he right. should have used a closed bridge on that shot. He used the open bridge, and then therefore I thought he was shooting a different shot. But he was shooting the shot I said two rails, you know, stun it with spin. Right. But that open bridge, I don't like it on that shot. How'd he hit it? Oh, I can oh. tell you now, you know. Yeah, he can get out of it. He's got to follow it with spin. I don't like this with open hand. He's shooting it with open. I like closing the bridge on this shot. I can't believe he shoot. Uh, he jammed the pocket and the seven hung up. Boy, these guys are uh, looking a little fatigued right now. I thought How he could have going, followed forward and spun off. How about going down. rail first on that shot? I thought it no, was close he, enough. No, no, he could have shot that ball in and followed to the side rail with tremendous spin and went down. I don't know what he was thinking there. If I Probably. was, if I was, if I was able to coach. While he was shooting, I would have never let him shoot the shot. He could have got down there the right. other way. But, he, you know, and I think in his head he didn't think he can get enough spin on it. That's why he jacked up. He's got to thin this ball thin to get around there. That's a good shot. Now, it if looks like Mike's going to get super thick, Oh, he's got the angle. That's okay. perfect. He'll just put some left top on this and come off the side rail. Down table. Or draw it. You can draw it, too. It looks like he's drawing it. Hey, he once shoots again, that shot different than I do. Once again, folks, if you have just joined us on the live stream, you're watching the 25th annual Ocean State Championship here at Snooker's Pool Room in Providence, Rhode Island. I'm Upstate Al, sitting alongside the one and only the great Earl Strickland in the commentator's booth as the crowd erupts for Mike DeShane as he wins that one. I really score. can't believe some of the little mistakes that Jason's made, but it's, you know... It's understandable because the table's difficult. It's not not an easy table, but I'm surprised a couple of shots. Seems like he misses the easy shots over the hard ones. Let's but I've, I've done that a few times myself. <laughs> the score right now is 5-4 to four in favor of Mike DeShane. Well, DeShane, I don't know what he'll do. I guess he'll, he's up there reading the rack, so he'll figure out whether he wants to hit them with the, the hard cut break, the soft cut break, or the, or the hammer. Or he'll get up and just hit him hard. He usually doesn't hit him hard from there. So he's Watch gonna, the wing ball on the opposite side cut. of the table. He's going to cut it. Right into the corner pocket, that wing ball went. Oh, he's got a tough shot here. I think the two ball goes, but keeping shape position on the on the three ball is going to be difficult. No reward. Maybe he'll elect to push There's out There's really here. only one way to play this shot. You have to hit it with a lot of inside. And make the ball. I mean, tremendous inside. And kill the ball. And come. The cue ball will come back near the five ball. That's the only way I see to get position on the three. If he shoots it with outside spin, the ball will run too fast, and it'll go around and snooker him by the four, four ball probably. I think he's going to elect to play safe. Unless there, it's no? an illusion. Unless he can go around the table. Like that. That's what he's going to oh, try to do. See that? He just. I would have played the shot I said at first with the tremendous inside. That's the shot out. It's but it's a tricky shot. But I like tricky shots. Yeah, but you know that tricky shot can get you in trouble. He's trying to go around the he table with this could, wall of he, balls he at the bottom the down here. Yeah, but if he overcuts with the other shot, he couldn't sell out. The other shot was the right shot. Why not play a safe and try to hide yeah, the rock? You're right. Even if he came around, he might hit one of these yeah. balls. Yeah. So. He's playing some ill-advised shots I mean, too. I you know, we're looking, we're looking at the person that wins this set, the new champion of this event. 
and the score is 5-4, you're only up by one game. Why take that chance? Right. Give yourself five. an opportunity you know, to get five, back. 5-5 five now, a little bit of left top. Keep the angles. Keep a good shot on the nine. A little bit of left bottom here, or just roll it in either way. I'd like to shoot a little bit of left on them. Always 55. put a little spin on those balls. We're staying jump. alive here, folks. We're racing to nine. This is the final set of the Ocean State Championship. Combined with the Josh Northeast Tour, and Mike DeShane decides to take his break, and Jason Shore is going to go right along with him. So Boy, I, I just can't believe some of the shots Jason Smith are after making these jacked up jump shots and 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 tremendous shots, five or six feet apart, and, and spearing the cue ball back down the table. And Maybe fatigue is setting in. It just seems like he makes little careless mistakes that he should make. I just can't understand it, but. I wish he would do it on me more. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys are always sparring, and and you're teaching him different things. Yeah. Uh, Got to bring that up to him, Earl. You know, sometimes we see things more. Yeah, we play a lot watching. there, Steinway, and uh, he beats me, and I beat him. I beat him last week, but uh, actually, I beat him last couple of times I played him in the weekly tournament. But he beat me here. Right. Uh, kind of beat myself. I. Uh, had opportunities. I missed the seventh one jacked up, one of those jacked up shots on the rail. Yeah. And one of my bread and butter shots, I missed it, and that's what cost me a bench. Then, Taking it for took it for granted, or no? I just, I just got up. I I, geez, I made this shot a million times. I love it. I right. you know I don't mind hard shots. Right. I missed it. It's one of those times. I guess kind of like what's happening to him right now. Okay, we're back. I don't see how they could be tired, though. Not just <laughs> At that age, Earl, you were going 48 hours a day, right? <laughs> well, I won the tournament in Turning Stone. I had to win five consecutive matches the last day, and it was quite a feat for me. Uh, uh, I stay in good condition. I run just about every day. Right. I, you know, I, I run on a you lot. You do stay in shape. I want to congratulate... Uh, Mika Eminen once more on running the New York Marathon, being a runner. Oh, I did see that, yes. Being yeah. a uh, avid runner that I run every day, or sometimes I run two, three months in a row. <laughs> don't even stop. But uh, I happen to catch that video. I have to uh, say that's a great accomplishment for our sport. Yeah. You know, uh, that's a great accomplishment for himself. And uh, But I think most importantly uh, to me, it's to prove to people that pool players are athletes. Well, it is a sport, don't you think? Or what do you, what do you consider? I don't know if we're all athletes, but uh, some of us are. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's always a discrepancy. People say, "Ah, pool's really not a sport." I, I think pool's a sport. You got to stand uh, a certain way. You can make way. the game a lot harder than it is. Don't worry. There's there's many ways to make this game a sport. Don't worry. <laughs> the five by ten makes it a sport. I promise you that. That's no easy table. I see he made another little well, careless shot. Well, he the show. point. Nah, no, it's still careless. There was still another careless. way right. there. He I don't. He did cool. Well, he was just trying to bounce back behind the did. eight. Is what he's now he'll to just do. draw back behind the eight and bank the one ball off the side rail down table. These shots are funny though. Sometimes I decelerate on them. This kind of shot. And he overhit that one. That's no good. These guys are uh, kind of chopping it up right now. Yeah. A little bit. Of course, it's understandable. I do it myself. And, and uh, I'm not going to exclude myself with chopping up a rack or two or a match. <laughs> well, it happens to everybody. I, I lost my match. I How I got knocked out of the tournament, I... Uh, I foul I did I I tried to roll a ball to the rail and play safe yeah, and didn't, didn't get the ball to the rail. Yeah, I saw that. So that was a pretty elementary mistake for me, you know. Yeah. But the table had slowed down, I didn't realize it. So got to think you got to think Look of this. everything. It's going to spin around a little and make the one. Good good shot. That wasn't easy to do. And now he'll go around the 6 or he could draw in between the 8 and the 6. Go bottom rail around the eight somehow. Yeah, he's gonna go three I, I, I rails just back go around. Three rails, I yeah. Think. But he's worried. He's got to put a little inside on it. Now we put a little outside. I, I was worried about the eight ball. What? It, 
and now he's laying straight. He's, it's always funny when you land like. Well, he's got he, the opportunity. He's Thank God the up. four is where it's yeah, at because he can roll up. up. He's yeah. going to roll up, play it in the side. Yeah, and, and the six being where it is, it's a good shot. Even if he is on the rail, he's just going to roll up on the four now. But now he'll go down table. He'll put a little, he'll put a little bit of right spin on this to make it deflect a little and then check off the bottom rail. That's why we put the little spins on the ball in these shots. So he didn't go to the bottom rail. He must have had. He, he was straighter than it yeah. looked. I can't yeah. tell from here. I That's thought he had more angle than that, didn't you? Yeah, so did I. Yeah, it looked like he had the angle to go down one rail and come I back I thought out. he had to go down table. But yeah. like I said, I can't tell from here. And I'm, I can only tell when I'm shooting the shot early. That was a good shot. It's always a, a, a funny shot with the rest. Or the rake, or the bridge, <laughs> or the I don't know bridge, whatever you want to call it. The, I'm calling it an English term, the the rest. Yeah, that's the way the English call it, the rest. But this should be easy to slow roll it, but little top. Oh, no. oh, he missed that ball. I cannot believe he missed that ball. That's Mike the Shane real aggravated at himself right now. Just slow roll this, a little bit of right, come off. And keep in mind, we're tied at 55, so if Jason gets out here, I mean, which is so one likely. Stun it across the table. We'll now take the lead, 6 to 5. With the He'll either roll this nine. in with a little right or draw it back with a little right. I fancy just rolling it in with a little bit of right. Just make concentrate on making the ball. and now He drew it back. He loves yeah. drawing the ball. He likes drawing everything, but I've noticed he's been getting out of it a little bit. Been playing a few more shots different. As you get older, you start playing the shots different. Well, why not just concentrate on making the ball? Why put English on the, on the ball? It just got a pop. Now you always want ball. to put a little spin on them shots. Yeah. All and when they got a little angle like that, even though it's the nine ball, you always want to spin it. Right. That's the easiest way to pocket the ball. Okay. I can't believe you missed that ball. It's... You might hear Earl talking. He's, he's talking with Larry Ross. Larry Ross is not wired, so you, you're not hearing Larry's audio. Larry right. said he couldn't believe he missed it, and I said it too. Said oh, Mike, you're not the only one. How about Mike? He couldn't believe it. He wants a whack his stick across his forehead. Well, it's, you know, fatigue setting in, even though he's only 26. I don't know exactly how old he is. I know he was 25 for a while there. I think he's a little older. <laughs> but, uh, you know, pool's a funny game. You know, you can't compare it to anything, really. It's its, its own animal. And uh, he drew this right in the corner. And the five ball That's fell into the That's always the, the uh, danger of that cut break. This cue ball goes one round in the corner or one round the side. The shame is, I mean, this is like putting pie right here. I mean, how can you not get out? But I don't know. I've done it, too. Yeah, we just seen Mike DeShane uh, miss a ball, allowing Jason to get back. At six to five, you're watching the Ocean State. He's going to roll this up and shoot nine the two ball in the championship. Opposite, and shoot the two in the opposite side. Roll up, shoot the two in the opposite side, I think. And you're He's, listening to the commentating of Earl the Pearl Strickland. He fools me every now and then because he just plays the shots different than I do. He's got to roll this up, just roll up. I guess he just still stay in the middle of the table. He won't even go to the rail. I'm starting to learn how he plays. He doesn't go to the rail as much as I do. Of course, that one I wouldn't have went to the rail. But some of the other shots, he seems like he stays in the middle of the table more than he does to use the rail. He'll just stun this off with some left. Come back out on the table. He don't want to come too far out. That's all right. I want to create too much angle. He's really a little funny here. He actually wanted to, he needs to keep an angle on this six because he can draw back for the seven in the side. Hey, we got Ron Park from That's the perfect. Carolinas in the chat there. Ron. Yeah. Ron, how you doing? It's nice to see you, hear from you again. Uh, I saw your buddy Tommy Kennedy not long ago. <laughs> but I uh, hope everything's all right down there in Charlotte. You guys aren't too cold. It's starting to get cold up here in New York. You know that being a New Yorker. But it's good to hear from you, Ron. I see he kept that angle on the six. We could just come back for the seven on the side. 
I don't know if he'll try to draw out of this. Yeah, draw back and shoot the right in the same hole. I think he can just draw back. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah. He'll just roll this up. I don't think he got the angle to go to the side rail. I don't know. If he can go to that side rail, he will. Yeah, that's perfect now. Always use those. Don't. For the people out there that learn in the play and even good players, always use the rail on those little shots. Can it get you better position? You're shooting those balls on the side. As you hear the eruption of the fans, it's six to six. We're racing to three from here. Yeah, it's been a comedy of errors there a little bit, huh? Yeah, on both parts. You yeah. know, they had that fair share. I just was surprised with the safety down there earlier. You know, it's that, that wasn't with that one ball with Jason when he. Oh, he hit the point. He tried to he tried to yeah. bounce that cue ball and get behind that eight. You know, after hitting the one, but he caught the point and wound up it's jarring it. It's funny to see a, cue. a great player make little mistakes. I guess they say the th same thing about me. <laughs> <laughs> You don't make that many mistakes, Earl. Yeah, I... I'm going to go back to what Kinky had told me years ago. He said, in a race to nine, if you make two mistakes, it's too many. Yeah. How about that? How strong is that? Yeah. But we've seen our fair share of mistakes here. Pool is a game of mistakes sometimes, I'll tell you. Uh, this, you know, it's... It's not a perfect game. It's not like, you know, it reminds me of tennis a lot. You know, a guy can have 40 unforced errors. He can make 40 mistakes and win the match. So, pulls a lot like that, you know. A guy can make a lot of mistakes and still win sometimes. You know, they don't seem like it's like that all the time. But tennis, uh, sometimes a guy makes a lot of mistakes, makes more mistakes than the other guy and wins. I never could understand those stats. Well, we're going volley right here at 6-6. Six, six. Got a cut break, I guess. Yeah. If I could make that ball every time like that and get a shot like that, that'd be hard to deal with. Yeah. I gotta learn how to read that rack or what they're doing. I don't know what they're up to. I still say it should be, it's unfair to be able to walk up and read the rack shouldn't have should be able to do that then you don't know where the balls are going but anyway this is a tricky shot still even though he's got an easy shot he's got to put a little bit of inside on it and come back across the table for the three in the other side or the or he might play for somewhere else shoot it hard and play for somewhere else like that see i never liked that he was scared to take on the slow roll with the inside he was scared to take that shot on and that's cost him position he could go ahead and bank this in and draw back around the table though if he if he feels he wants to go ahead and run out i don't fancy him cutting this ball in he could cut it aside we want to give a special thanks to the moderators moderating the chat he's going to play safe. and yeah uh, jeff bartolo steve romax too safe. slow for me we want to say special thanks to each and every one of the people that are on this stream I still and thanks anything. for the support as you witnessed the great commentary by Earl Strickland um, we want to say thank you to everyone that had anything to do with promoting this stream and this event and the sponsors that got on board and don't forget next weekend from Rack's pool room in Hempstead Long Island holding shins um, I guess he's gonna try where to cut this is in. going. Sorry, Earl. Go ahead. I think he's gonna try to cut this in, but no, he's played safe. Couldn't tell how he's gonna shoot that. I really don't. Can't tell how he's gonna shoot some of these shots. He shoots a little different. Uh, that was a good safety. I still say he shot the, the the one ball wrong a while ago. He was scared to take on the slow inside shot. He kicked it with good speed, but it looks like the, he's, he's gonna, gonna leave get a out shot a little bit. Yeah, he's left but this is still a tough shot because the pockets are not that big, and these shots are always difficult, no matter what the situation. Right. These long shots are just—they're difficult. 
I don't know if he can get back out in the table. He might have to come down and shoot the six past the nine. He's got to concentrate on making this four. He's got to get past the eight. That was a good shot. And that was risky. It. That was real risky the way he shot that, and that paid off. But he's got even a funnier shot now. He he doesn't want to shoot the seven down in the other corner. He wants to shoot the seven where the nine is. Well, he's going to just pull the rock towards the seven. Uh, uh, he can't get positioned like that. He's either got to spin it three rails around the table or draw it two rails. That's there exactly what he did. That's Played the, the inside three. It. That's the way I would have shot it. Beautiful shot. Good shot. I put right bottom, draw back to the middle. I don't know if he'll try to get back and get straight on this ball. He can. He's going to have to go around the table now. Three rails to put him in good shape to make the nine ball. He could go three rails or he could draw this ball two rails. He's going to draw it. Going to draw two rails. Carl Strickland, spot on, baby. Yeah, I, Doesn't get much well, better than this. I'm starting to learn how he shoots. But that particular shot right there was a draw shot. He's supposed to draw it. Keep in mind, we're tied at six games apiece. If Mike DeShane sinks this nine ball, he will take a one-game lead. That is a score of seven to six. And we're only racing to nine. The winner of this set will be the new Ocean State champion. There it is. As the home favorite, Mike Duchesne, makes the nine. Seven to six right now in favor of Mike. predict he'll cut the balls again on the break. He's not going to hit them head on. Yeah, if the break's working, why try to improve it, right? Have an investigation on the rack now. <laughs> this is what I don't like about pool. I don't like all this investigating. It's it seems to get real deliberate as they get down to the yeah. wire, huh? Well, he's trying to figure out if the ball will go. And that's, I think it's an element of cheating. Watch the five ball crack well, towards that corner pocket. Obviously, he knows the five's going to go. He's going right there. Yeah. So, you know, it's an element of uh, I don't I don't like. It. Uh oh. It came up a little They're short that time. That time. All right, here's a chance for Shaw. He's got a relatively easy out if he can get on the two. He can get right for the three. Uh, a little tricky. He'll just draw back now and shoot the three where he's leaning over the corner puck to the side rail. Now he'll come straight down the table. A little left top. That'll make the ball check a little bit, come down the table. Oh, he missed the three. He's really uh, showing some fatigue, I think. Get him out on the pavement with me. He, he runs on the treadmill. He's going to start running outside. <laughs> there you go. Set him up, Earl. Let's make him start running outside. <laughs> Looks like the nine's dead in the side if he comes around and gets on it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll try to play for the corner on the four. Hey, look at the speed of the cue ball here. He's overhit it. That ain't no good. But the nine's dead now. Let's take so, a look at that shot. It's close. It sure is. Boy, Mike's going to take a second look at this. And what makes this even more of a efficient, more of a, a efficient shot is the five ball where it is. If he does want to attempt this combination, he could run into the five and use it as a blocker instead of scratching. Because it looks like he's going to have to really cut this. Because the four end is a tough position. I'll tell you that. It's not possible, but it... Well, I guess the nine is not on. He's going for the cut. He's got to control the rock here. Started shooting high on the ball. I don't like... Well, I think he plans on using the nine, He's but gonna that gotta, nine is going to... try to cut it in and clip the nine. Yeah, but that nine's deflecting that cue ball up towards that corner pocket. I like his idea. 
Do you? I don't, I don't know if it'll hit that much of a nine, though. That's a tricky shot there. It's really, unless the nine's dead. If, if he clips part of that nine, boy, he's got a good chance of going up in that corner pocket with the cue ball. Now he's looking back at the combination for the nine into the side pocket. I kind of like this from my angle, but I can't get right on it and look at it dead on, so... Well, I, you could cut the four in the corner and go three rails, but the nine's going to snooker you. That's what's bothering him. That's why he hasn't shot the shot yet. Well, he, that's why he's thinking about going around the table if he does try he the four can't. to he's get gotta, back to the he, five. He wants to cut it in and move. He's going to draw it. Nah, he's not going to do that. I don't like it. And I got news for you. If he's going to attempt to cut that four ball, and I'm calling Mike Zuglin over here to watch that shot. I don't want any kind of discrepancies. I think Jason should call Mike over. No, he can make it. Oh, I know he can make this, but just in case he doesn't. Hit it too hard. That's the position. If he just shot it softer, it would have been perfect. That sure was risky. There. Could have went right in the corner down there. A lot of things could have happened. Could have come back in the corner. And now he's missed position, but he thinned the ball come around the table. That's really his only alternative here, or bank the dive ball down behind the seven. Bank then it, try to go four rails or three rails behind the six. Oh, wow, he just scraped the paint on that ball. He didn't mean to hit it that then. No, he didn't. He was trying to get behind that six ball. He was ball. trying you can to go around, him. yeah. He just, You're he probably going to see Jason do that right now. Yep, yeah, it's the same shot. And I think Jason hit it better. And how's the it. speed on the cue? No, it ain't going to get there. But yeah, it's a tough shot he left it. it. Might have a little window for the five past the eight, but it's a tough shot. I don't think he'll take it I don't it like off. that shot. He was trying to roll that five. It don't look like it. It's got no. a lot of room, does it? No, it, it doesn't look like it at all, especially with this table. He can roll this to the bottom rail and put it behind the eight and nine. It's an easy shot. Looks like he's trying to get back up by the six again the way he's hitting it. That's what he does, but this time he hits it with good speed. I think he's going to wind up... No, he played, he played the wrong shot. Boy, no. we're watching a game of chess right now. I would have rolled that ball where it is now and put it behind the eight. I, I saw your shot, yeah, but I think Jason's going for the that shot behind the, the six shot. again. Well, right? yeah, it's, it, this is a little easier this time. And he, he, he's he going scratched. in the hole. He might go in the hole. He sure did. He didn't hit it then enough. Look at the eight. <laughs> Eight nine there. I mean, it's, it's a makeable shot, or you can play an easy safe once you get to the eight. Unless Mike's going to elect to nudge the nine. Yeah, he's got to right break now. He's got to break them out. Since he's got ball in hand and the balls are right there, he's just, just run into the nine. Hit it with a little bit of speed. Make sure they separate. You right. know what I mean? Right. You don't want to. You don't want to hit it too easy. In case. Actually, he can just hit the top of the nine here. I see. Yeah, it's but you don't want to, like you said, you don't want to hit it that easy. You don't want to marry it up to the eight again. Bit yeah. firm so that it separates. Like that. There you go. That's Perfect. great. Good shot. Now he'll have to uh, draw around the seven and shoot the seven in the same corner. It looks like the right shot. Or he can draw around, back out, and shoot the seven in the opposite corner. Like the six. Right. And that's what he did. That was the right shot. He had enough angle to do that. When you got less angle, you, you play for the other corner. If Mike gets out here, he's on the hill. Yeah. Jason's really kind of handed in this match. He actually had a lot of opportunities to win so far. I mean, to end this match. It's been a lot of pool the last couple of days, I think. Yeah, I guess the uh, little fatigue. Yeah. Even though it's hard to believe at 25. You're right. You got to get him out there on the pavement. Yeah, he's got to get off that treadmill. Yep. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I just got to do what I got to do. There you go. That's I got to stay in good shape to stay up with these guys. Believe me, and I you're do. doing that. Oh, well, here it is. For are going the hill. There, is. there you have it. Mike the Shane now on the hill and threatening to take down the Ocean State for the second time in a row. Well, 
Well, this is more of a contact sport than you think. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Ross coming up with his theories and mottos. Larry says, if you never miss the ball, nobody would ever play with you. <laughs> it doesn't get any truer than that. Chain broke, and he's got a, a road map. Really? All he's got to do is draw back a little bit, a, about a foot maybe less, and or maybe more, and then play a little inside on the two, come back, play the three in the opposite corner of the two. Steve Lomax in the chat says, thanks, Daryl. Doing a great job in the booth. Yeah. Tell Steve, thanks, Steve. Uh, your jump cue is doing great, making a lot of great shots, winning a lot of good games with it. Thanks a lot. Now he'll put a little bit of right top on this just to hold the cue ball straight so he can come back for the three in the opposite corner. I know he ain't going to fool me on this one. Ain't no way. Some of these guys don't like shooting soft. I used to have a problem with that, too, when I was younger. But uh, as I got older, I, I, I shoot those balls soft real good now. But he could draw this past the side, which I never do on this shot, if, unless I have to. He could follow back to the middle there. He's going to draw it, drew it straight down the table, which is a good shot. It's perfect. Now he'll follow... Yeah, yeah. Follow the ball two rails. Two rails. Between he's the got seven a yeah, that's tough. Is, this angle, it looks like he's got more of a straight shot than, uh, than the angle here. See, he played that different than I would have. I would have shot the three and come back to the middle and shot the four and went around between the eight seven. Yeah, that's what he's going to try here. Yeah. Follow between the eight seven now. Perfect. Which, either Great way, shot, he did yeah. it perfect. Yeah. He'll probably draw this two rails. And out to the middle, or two rows in back, and shoot the seven in the corner where the eight is. That's exactly what it did. Which that's that's not the right way to play that. Yeah, I think he underhit that. I he thought should have played it a little bit longer, playing. maybe you know, straighten the cue he ball. He wanted to come further down. But yeah. This is kind of tricky now. He's got a. He's going to draw out of it. He's just going to draw out of it. One row. Good shot. There you have it, and Mike DeShane is on the verge of taking down. Now he'll have to stun this and spin off the rail or just draw straight back down the table. He likes drawing down the table a lot. The Ocean State Championships for the or second he'll time in a row. all the way back over, which he did. That's a good shot, too. Here it is, the match ball. Match ball. Sounds like tennis. There you go. <laughs> Mike to Shane. Mike to Shane taking down the Ocean State Time Ball Championship. Two times in a row, back to back wins 2012 and 2013. We'll have another banner on the wall. Mr. Earl Strickland, what a pleasure. Everybody out in the chat, we have over thousands of viewers coming up in the chat because you stepped in here. I mean, that's the kind well, of drill you're for it all. Me, but, you know, I always enjoy sitting and talking about bull and, and uh, answering some of the questions from some of the viewers. And well, just your input and your insight into the pool game, being a six-time world champion. Yeah. Is, is more than we can ask for. We just want to let you know that, and there's so many people out there that's been thanking you for sitting in as we've been sitting here. I'm so sure one day positive. I'll be here permanently. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I, well, you know what? I don't want. I don't wish that because I love the way you there's shoot. A, and so many people tune in when you play a match. 
it's going to be a while before I take up a commentary job permanently because I plan on barbecuing. Barbecue. Right <laughs> Starting with them Moscone Cup players here soon. Oh, yeah, Earl. Going like to the Moscone Cup. We wish you a lot of luck, Earl. I'm in shape right now. I've been in shape, really. Uh, I had a little uh, drawback the other day. My ears got infected from sweating. Could happen. When I run. Yep. And I had to stop for a couple of days, but I'm back at it now. And, there you go. We're glad and, to hear uh, that. I just want to be healthy when I get there, and I just want to help the team. I really do. There you go. I just want to win a few points and uh, give them some inspiration and, and some morale. Let me see if I can switch camera angles and see if I can get some of these presentations. Well, gee whiz, you can't really see everybody down. You got Jason Shore, you got Martin Daigle, and you got... Mike DeShane standing right in the middle between those two players. And now you're going to see Steve Goulding and his wife, Regina. And Mr. Mike Zuglin stepped into the picture. We don't have a camera that will do that for us. I'm trying my best here. And that's the gentleman taking a couple of pictures. Oh, they're headless, huh? Yeah, the headless horseman uh -huh. <laughs> right there. But you can get a look at those great trophies. Take care, uh, Herbie. Herbie Layman going home. Thank you for sitting in every once in a while. You can't hear him. He's not wired. Al, I want to thank you, too, for Hey, Earl, and, uh, you know something from the heart. It's been a pleasure to sit in with you. Yeah. And we got to do it more often. But barbecue yeah. a few plates first out in the yeah, uh, Moscone thank Cup. You, thank you for all your uh, input and, and your commentary you. and being here and... I appreciate up it. it. Putting up with us. Yeah, I do. But I do. Love I, the nothing game. much. I love game. it, man. I uh, love it. I'm like game, a. I'm, you know something, Earl? I'm like a kid going to the first day of camp. Every time yeah. I got to go someplace, I just can't. I wait can't to get wait there. to get up every I, day when I'm healthy and run, do my sit-ups and run, get a little food in me and go practice. Yeah. I look, especially on the five by ten. This yeah, is, you love that five yeah, by ten. Yeah, I do. It's We're taking those side real pockets man's off. <laughs> We're gonna have John take off those side pockets. We're gonna have a challenge yeah. match down in Steinway. But okay. it's time to say goodbye, and I don't know when I'll be back on the air again. These, you gotta cherish these moments, and that's why I don't come on much, so that people can. They can cherish it when I do. So. Okay, Earl. But one day I'll be here permanently, I'm sure. <laughs> that was Earl Strickland. I'll I'm, take I'm care, upstate buddy. Al, and we're signing off, folks. We're going to let the stream run. There's just not going to be any commentary. Thank you all, all right. so much. Okay, Earl. Thank, thank you all for all your help from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate everybody that had any kind of part helping out the stream, and I know every single one of us did whatever we can to promote it. Thank you so much. We're going to stay here a little while. Have a great night. I wish everybody the best. We'll be back at you. If there's anything going on, I will pan around with the can. Oh, not pan. I will switch cameras if I can. Uh, give you guys some more insight if you're hanging in. Thank you so much. Upstate Al, I'm signing off.